Hey there, Christy here with Genesis, and today we're going to be talking about progressive downloads with Genesis Now. For those of you that are having your progressive downloads come in through your Ivans, um, you'll have nothing extra to do. There'll be no extra steps. They'll come in with your normal downloads. However, those of you who are not using Ivans with Progressive and you're using the Progressive Policy Downloader, that is okay and it works in conjunction with your Genesis Now. And what you're going to need to do is make sure that you contact Progressive and ask them for the Progressive Policy Downloader. Once you get that Progressive Policy Downloader, you're going to have it go to your file on your local computer. And the way that you're going to do that is you're just going to go into your file, you're going to go to your, your computer, you're going to go to your local drive, and you're going to put in an uploads file. And inside that uploads file, you're going to put an AL3 file. Inside of that AL3 file, you're going to have an archive file. And that archive file is very important. That will keep you from downloading the same download into your system twice. If you drop it into your archive file once it's in your system, you won't have anything to worry about. All right, so each day after you run your progressive policy downloader, it will put a file in your uh, folder that we just created. That's in the uploads AL3 file it will put it right here. So when you come in each day and you've run that progressive policy downloader, you're simply gonna drag that file and drop it into your Genesis. When you do that, you're gonna see that file populate here and you're just gonna click process. Once you've done that, it's gonna go ahead and do its thing and match those clients up for you. Now, lastly, you're gonna come back to your uploads AL3 file and the file that was sitting here, you're just gonna drop it into your archives. And that way, each week, you can come here to your archives and you can go ahead and remove any files that are here. Hope that's been helpful.